Okay, so here we are at our hive today. We've got our battery, our mask, some gloves, a piece of foam for sealing the hive, the Verox, which we use for heating the oxalic acid, and uh, some oxalic acid in a measuring spoon. There are your basic ingredients for doing an oxalic evaporation. So we put two grams of oxalic acid into our Verox, slot that into the hive and then we'll seal the hive with a piece of foam. Here's our timer, the two terminals on the side of it and two clips. The clips are for attaching to a battery, the terminals you attach your Varox to. So we'll put our clips on from the Varox onto the sides of the timer. And then we will put our leads from the timer onto the battery. There they go, one at a time. The timer will then run through a test sequence of the lights. It will bring on the red light. That tells you that it's in the heating phase, which will last for two and a half minutes. We move to a safe distance where we'll be able to see the light easily, but I'll zoom in just to make it simpler for the camera. After two and a half minutes, the light will go blue, and this shows you you're in the cooling phase, which lasts five minutes, by which time there'll be no chance of any fumes coming out of the front of the hive where the Varox is. The light will turn green, and you know that it's now safe to remove your Varox from your hive. When you take out the foam, there will be no fumes. And you can just simply move on and do your next hive. As well as being safer, you'll get more hives done because it doesn't waste energy from the battery.